Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter. Boom, 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 review stuff. And I am back for, yes, another Starbucks review. Glamour shots, I'm so excited. By the way, okay, cause you know I'm counting like every thousand <laughs> that I make it on this channel cause I love it so much. Um, I'm basically like one of those Instagrammers that says like 1,000 and they put the day 5,000, 10, I'm like one of those people, okay? You guys, I hit 37,000 subscribers over here and I didn't even realize it. And we're like way past that now, okay? We, that's you and me. See, listen, okay, when I wanna put you in your place and say you're the viewer and I'm the reviewer, then then we're separate, okay? But when I, I'm trying to get you on the same page as me, then we say we, okay? Those are called the manipulative natures of a YouTuber. They all do it, okay? Go watch your finest beauty YouTuber and they will say we all the time. Anyway, anyway. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I have so much fun over here every single day. Um, I just love trying all the new stuff. And I've been kind of putting off this video because I have all of our dog boxes, subscription boxes from the summer. Tucker's like, Dad, I need some new toys. Boo Radley's like, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, so I've been putting off that video because I need to unbox like literally all of them. And I think I have like six or seven at this time. <laughs> They're in this huge box in our kitchen and it's just like taking up space and my husband has been kind enough to not say anything at this point about it. So anyway, okay, we're gonna go review the pumpkin love. I don't know why that cracks me up so much, but anyway, I love a good piece of bread. <laughs> do. Yesterday I said I wasn't going to maybe review this, but then today I was like, you know what? I'm like really craving some love. <laughs> I don't know why that is so funny to me. <laughs> is it because I hate when people say things like, okay, okay, I hate like, just come out and use the appropriate words. Like, okay, and we don't need to know all the business. Like, I'm, I need to go to the restroom. Okay, like that is perfectly fine. I cannot stand when people say things like, um, drop your kids off at the pool, <laughs> okay? Or pinch a loaf. I hate that. So whenever I think of like lo pumpkin loaf, I think of that for some reason. So anyway, we're already on a great start for this. But, okay, I was craving some uh, pumpkin bread today. And I woke up and I was like, you know, okay, I was hoping this last week that the pool was open, that it would be like sunny outside. No, okay, it's basically like a Smith's girlfriend in a coma, 1990, rat your hair and wear a good jean jacket on a fall Friday night kind of day. You know what I mean? Okay, that was me and my good jeans on a Friday night. We didn't go to no football games, okay? But we were driving around smoking club cigarettes. Don't do it, it's bad for you, okay? But anyway. Uh, so, uh, but that's the kind of weather it is outside, and I'm like, I'm not down for this at all. Although tonight is my um, home group meeting with uh, my good Judy and all my good friends, so I'm excited about that, and then we stand outside afterwards and we talk, and it's kind of like high school, but not really, you know what I mean? Because we don't drink anymore, but besides that, it kind of is like high school. Minus the drama and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I wanted to show you, um, if you just missed that whole part, so I've been sober for 25 and a half years, okay? Now you get it, okay. I wanted to show you my new cup that came in the mail yesterday. I did a whole PO unboxing on my vlog, and no, this was not a gift. Um, in my, my PO, meow, 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 in my, meow, in my PO um, box, I actually ordered this on Etsy, and I paid, I don't even wanna tell you guys how much I paid for this, okay? I did pay like $100 for this cup with shipping and handling. I think it was like 70, and then with shipping and handling, it came to just under like $100. But she threw in a confetti cup and she wrote a very, very nice note, I will say. Okay, I was very impressed with the whole thing. So are you guys ready? You're gonna die. This is so gorgeous. Could you even believe it? It doesn't even look real, does it? Do you see like up close? Oh my God, look at that. It doesn't even look real. I'm so excited for it. So anyway, okay, let's go do this review now. I had to have it though. <laughs> I had to. My I showed it to my husband last night and um, so I keep on, every time I go to Meyer, I buy more plants because they have a really great plant section. And I know people are like, well, that's weird. Why wouldn't you just go to a nursery? Because at a nursery, they upcharge them like $50. But I get these plants at Meyer, and they are doing really, really well. So I've been buying these plants at Meyer. They're $16.99 each. I did buy a little succulent thing together because my husband loves them. And that was like $24.99 or something like that. But my husband says, my God, he goes, 
uh, how many more uh, Starbucks cups and plants do we need in this house? I said, listen, don't even worry about it. This is kind of like Rainforest, uh, Rainforest, uh, what's that restaurant called? The Rainforest Cafe meets Starbucks in this house. You know, don't even worry about it, okay? <laughs> you got your cup, didn't you? He does not even know how lucky he is, okay? So many of you out there are like, I wish I had those cups. My husband has access to any of these cups at any time, and he could care less. So rude, isn't it? I think so, anyway, but I still love him. Anyway, I mean, what are you gonna do with somebody that you've been together with for 12 years? <laughs> I guess just do some. But anyway, that's not that's not good marriage. That's not good marriage. But anyway, okay. So I'm gonna do something today, you guys, that I have never done on this channel before. And that is, and I don't think I've ever done in my life, period, other than bought a cup. And that is, I'm gonna actually use my points today. <laughs> Are you ready? Because I currently, on my Starbucks app, hold on a second, I have like no money on my Starbucks app. I have $3.60, okay? <laughs> But I do have, hold on a second, 1180 points. Now let me tell you what happens. I have wasted these points because the points come and then you lose them if you don't use them, right? So I don't ever use my points and so I lose them constantly. So this is kind of like a first, we're gonna see how this works today. So I'll be reviewing this whole process of the points as well, right? And if they give me a, like a hard time about it. People were asking me yesterday, they were like, um, where's Josh? And I'm like, Josh still works at Starbucks. I don't know why people. You can hear them in the background sometimes. They need to come up with some more drinks. Oh. If they don't have the pumpkin bread, I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh, I mean bitter. Hi, what can we get for you today? Can I get a venti iced blonde Americano? With two, yeah. e with two equal? Okay. And then can I get a piece of pumpkin bread as well? I am actually out of the pumpkin bread. Oh! <laughs> have the pumpkin muffin or the pumpkin pisco? No, uh, that's okay. Actually, I won't, I don't need either one then today, okay? All right. All right. Not the Americano. No, I, I don't need either thing. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. I already started your Americano. I know, but I, I just gotta go somewhere else to get the pumpkin bread. <sighs> Fine. I'll get the Americano. I'll get the Americano here. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. What are you gonna do, right? <laughs> now I hope I have some cash, which I know I don't. Well, we can review the point system, if nothing else. I'm, the only thing I have left to review is the loaf of bread. You have a, we, have, we have the pumpkin bread year-round. What, what other breads do you have? Give me I've some. got banana bread, I've got lemon milk. You don't want either of those. Um, I'm just you a which one's better? Let's do the banana bread. Okay. I am kind of craving banana bread. Is it warmed up? No, God, I warmed that muffin up. It was horrible. Okay, now you have to help me with the points. So everybody was asked, oh, he's on, he's on the phone. I mean, he's on the thing, take and drink order. Okay, first of all, you need a new joke up there. Second of all, everybody was wondering where you were, so can you say hi? I'm still here. Okay, I, have, I need help. Why did the smartphone need glasses? Why did the smartphone need glasses? I don't know. It lost all of its contacts. That's actually cute. Okay, so I don't know what to do with this. So for points, you would just bring up your barcode so like you were gonna- So let's use my 360. Well, okay. Whoa, 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 wait, you tell me what to do. So you pull up your thing just like normal, and then okay. everything else is on my screen. So you scan in store just like you're gonna pay with your card. Okay. And then I'll scan your barcode, and then it will pull up the thing on my register from here, and then I okay. can see all of your points. How many of those points so can I use towards that? You can use 150 for the free drink and 50 for the loan. Like 50 points per piece. So 200 and I still have all my other stuff left and that's all I had to pay? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, that. So we're doing banana bread today. <laughs> Sorry. And here's that. And thank you so much. Look at my new cup. Oh, it's atrocious. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> he said it's atrocious. <laughs> so we're doing banana bread, you know. <laughs> you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Oh look, I'm waving to all my fans. <laughs> all my, oh tell, no paparazzi please, no. No paparazzi. 
that guy really was kind of watching me. He was like, what is that dude doing? Seriously. Well, you think you're too cool for school, okay? With all of your stickers on your computer. Listen, I'm 48. We don't do that in case we have to, like, take it into the, into the, 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 the big, the big lots, I was going to say. In case we take it into Best Buy and then we don't want everybody thinking, like, what are all these stickers you got on your, your computer for? I don't care! Be too much. I don't have any good stickers to put on my, uh, to put on, uh, what do you call it, on my, uh, computer. What stickers would I put? Travel stickers. That's what I want to put. Okay. This over here. Mmm. Ooh. Even the uh, straw is kind of different. Alright, so let's try this. Now, my mother back in the day, true story, she made, okay, she can make orange bread, apple bread, she made apple raw apple muffins, she made so many good things. She couldn't bake to save her life. Now, when I say bake, I mean cookies. She couldn't cook. Every cookie was burnt. She'd always say I like the burnt ones, but bread, she made the best bread. She made this orange bread. It is, oh! I still have the recipe for it at home. It's fantastic. But one of the things that my mom did make that was fantastic was banana bread. And she would always get, like, bananas, you know? But I would want one, and she'd say, no, those are for the bread. And she would leave them out until they were brown and mushy. Do you remember that? Did your mom ever do that? Why? I still don't know to this day, and I'm 48 years old. Why do brown and mushy bananas make better banana bread? Okay, because I don't think they look very nice going in. I'm just saying. Going into the bread. <laughs> Family friendly, okay? Did y'all just get that? <gasps> this is like a really thick piece of banana bread. <laughs> okay, how is it possible that I literally sexualize every <laughs> review video that I do? <laughs> family friendly. Go buy my fam family friendly t-shirts. I have all my new merch is up on my merch shop. It's listed below. Okay, but anyway, this is a, um, this is a, A girthy? <laughs> this is a really nice, <laughs> this is a good size <laughs> piece of banana bread. Oh God, just try it, okay. It has like these little nuts and stuff on top of it. <laughs> but it does, it has like, do you see? Okay. Oh, let me tell you what my good Judy Tanya loves to do. <laughs> I'm like literally crying. She gets cream cheese and puts it on banana bread and kind of, do you guys do that? It's so good. Mmm. <laughs> that is really, really good. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like the most extraordinary banana bread I've ever had in the entire world, but it's good. It's a solid, solid banana bread. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot, you guys. Oh, I didn't do a thumbnail, damn it. I definitely would not warm it up. Why does this remind me of school? Why does this remind me of fall days in school? My mom must have put like pieces of banana bread in my school, in my lunch, because I took my lunch a lot. Well, most of the time in elementary school, I bought my lunch. You know, with the little card and they clip it and stuff like that. Not clip it, like steal. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> kind of like back in the day. I think it's gay lingo. We used to call stealing clipping. Anyway. Another story. I didn't do that, but my good Judy, a Duke, he, every bottle of cologne that he had said tester on the bottom of it. True story. But anyway, he's no longer with us. Miss you, Duke. Anyway, um, we, we used to always call it clipping. I'd be like, girl, why are you clipping on those bottles of cologne? How many bottles of obsession does one person need? Anyway, I guess he was obsessed. But when I was in junior high, I took my lunch and in high school. So maybe I took banana bread. Maybe I had it when I came home from school. <laughs> I don't know. This is really good banana bread, like bakery level banana bread. 
Like, I would solidly give this, like, a 4.5. Like, if a friend brought this to me and said it was homemade, I would totally believe it. <laughs> but I'm kind of stupid like that anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm giving this a 4.5. This is really, really good. We will find the pumpkin bread. Okay, well, first of all, I just think it's a total cheat. They have it up there on their fall menu when it's available to be served year-round, okay? Which then means that they've only really come up with three new drinks. I mean, come on, Starbucks. Do you not have a creative development team? Can you not come up with three or four new drinks on top of those regular drinks? I mean, seriously? I'm like, and then they get mad, you know, <laughs> that we have to do all these secret menu drinks. But, like, we have to do Starbucks jobs for us, you know? It's the Hollies of the world out there. It's the Peters of the world out there that we have to come up with these secret menu drinks because Starbucks isn't doing it. They're not coming up with these drinks. They just come up with the same old basic pumpkin spice latte year after year after year. I do love, but I have to tell you, I'm like kind of obsessed with that pumpkin cream cold brew. I, I Pumpkin cream, whatever it is, the cold brew one. Oh my God, I love that so much. Anyway, let me know what you think about any of their breads or pastries in the comment section below. I will say that my husband gets their, cross, uh, their uh, butter cro croissant every morning for breakfast, I think, like five days a week on his way to work and he loves it. So anyway, maybe not every morning. I shouldn't say that because, you know, that could cause marital fights. But anyway, because he'd be like, why are you telling everybody I'm having those croissants from Starbucks? I'm like, you need it. You don't love me anymore. That's the truth of marriage right there. But anyway, I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.